Roommate keeps jacking off in the morning and I hate it. What do I do? Yesterday I woke up and looked at him groggily only to see him going to fucking town under the sheets. It wasn't quiet at all and I did like how he was up so early just to do it. It makes me wonder how many times he has done it. Well I woke up this morning to a similar sound and decided to just wake up so he would stop. He quickly after this got his shower stuff and left. I get it we're just a bunch of hormonal college kids and what not but damn it just go jerk it in the shower. How do I go about things? I need to set boundaries. Maybe should I use this to kick him out and get my other buddy to come room with me? Edit. Alrighty Jesus Christ you guys are some assholes. Some of you guys were pretty funny NGL. I'm going to talk with him. I will admit I would rather not have him as a roommate and have one of my buds. But I'll bite the bullet and wait till next year. I'm going to say to him just keep it to the shower. Some of you would like to call me a pussy for running to the raw but he made eye contact with me and he didn't have his phone out. So either he has a really good memory imagination or he is jerking it to me. M. Wake up before him and jerk off even louder to assert dominance. You're two dudes, you can talk about it. Hey, I know you're jacking in the morning. Can you keep it to the shower? Cheers pal, end of story, move on with your life. Just go to him pretty chill and say, yo, you should jerk off in the shower next time. Loudly crying. Have you tried just saying something like, can you do that in the bathroom instead? It's making me uncomfortable. Sit down and make a list of ground rules. At least he's not blowing his load onto the radiators. You need to tell him to stop. Gotta communicate when you have a roommate it's your only option. He'll understand. Talk to him. From the comments, you're in a college dorm which means you should be a grown-ass adult and be able to have a civil conversation with someone. If you can't, maybe college isn't right for you. Yeah just tell him you don't want to see, hear him jerking off so he should get up and go to do it in the bathroom. You don't want to be part of his sexual act. Want be the popular opinion but my roommate jerked it every night for the entire year I was there in our dorm. He even did it when I had my partner over. I regret not reporting it after he refused to stop when I talked to him about it. So definitely use your raw if he does not respect your wishes because it's a shared space which does not give him the right to whip it out any time he wants. Jerk him off first. That'll teach him. Dude grow up. If you tell him you know, he will probably change his habits. And jerking in and communal shower is not good hygiene for anyone involved. Dudes masturbate, it happens, but there is a lot more mature ways to handle this situation. And catching your college roommate jerking it isn't that uncommon. If this is your biggest problem, you're doing all right. Hey just get up one morning, sit up and smile and say, haha I'm cute but I never thought I'd turn you to, smile really creepily. Just be like dude this morning I woke up and it's uncomfortable being in the same room while you were doing what you were doing. Can you keep it to the shower or if you can't maybe you should look into getting a single. You're going to have to ask him to move it to the showers. I don't understand the other comments. I'd be pissed if I were up. Like it should be common sense and decency not to do that kind of shit when you share a room with someone. Imagine my discomfort. When I was 19 f, I went with my then boyfriend to visit his uncle. He only had TV in the guest room. So he asked if we mind if he watched some TV before bed. We said sure, no worries but we will try to sleep as it was a long road. My boyfriend fell asleep right away, and uncle put on porn and started the work. The next day I told my boyfriend, he didn't believe me first, but I told him to don't dare to fall asleep before me tonight and he will see. And he did see, and we did see the coming three nights too. We were young and too ashamed to say something. But man, really, while your guests are in bed in the same room, I just can't wrap my head around it. In any order, life-size picture of childhood authority figure taped above his bed. Laugh track. Air horn. Cayenne pepper in his private lotion. Fart spray. Just jerk him off. Since you want him to move out, gift him a blow-up doll. With any luck, he'll hate you so much, he'll leave. Bring someone over and go to town while he's over. Assert dominance. Source. Worked against my shitty roommate lol.
let's be honest here, you just don't like him and want him out so just tell him you'd prefer if he just pisses off so you and your mate can sleep in the same room with each other. Just do what this guy did. Sorry you're in this situation, but holy shit, this thread has had me dying at work. In all seriousness, just talk to him. Be straight up and up front, but don't be condescending. I'm sure you've let one go in a less than desirable place before, and even if you haven't, you're a young male, you know where a hell a nut can lead you. Best of luck. Jesus fucking Christ dude can't you whack it in the shower? Wah. Dot huh, it's blatantly obvious you're masturbating can you go do that in private? Oh shit. Ah uh, sorry. Yay, a real-life conversation I had with my first college roommate. Sure it is embarrassing and not something you should have to ask someone, but I am 31 years old with a degree and career and just recently had to ask my boss to stop picking his nose in the middle of a meeting while I am talking to him. Moral of the story, just talk to him and ask him to be a regular human being. If he refuses, then escalate. Hey, it could be worse. You could have bunked beds and your roommate could be doing it underneath you for hours. At one in the morning. Shaking the bed. That happened to me. He moved out a few days later without telling me. In all seriousness though. Set some ground rules. Tell him to keep it in the bathroom and keep it down. Nobody likes a screamer. Dot lol. When you catch him, ask him. What are you doing step bro? If you go to your raw, they can move you. If there are resources on campus, you could see about being put into a single room. Sometimes colleges set aside single occupancy rooms for those with disabilities, if they are trans, etc. Just ask him to do it in the bathroom or shower and if he continues then you might want to talk to someone. You know you can request a room change at any point right? You don't have to wait. It's an invitation. Just politely ask him if that is on his mind. Jizz on his pillow to establish dominance. Join him. This will stronger the bond between you and him and you will find a new friend. I'm sorry you're getting so much backlash. It's disgusting that someone is jerking off in the same room as you. It's rude and disrespectful. So what if he's, a teenage boy, that doesn't make it right? You will have to tell him to do it somewhere more private than in the same room as you. But please don't let these fuckheads convince you that, this is normal, Boys will be boys, etc. Because I'd have a problem with it too. He probably was screamed at by his mother that it's gross to do it in the shower, or perhaps he is incapable of achieving standing up or it may be his thing to relieve the stress of the day to come before rolling out of bed. Regardless, you just have a frank talk of boundaries in regards to sex of any nature. Masturbation when alone in room or shower, a booty call when alone and text to let the other know. A pornathon when alone and text the other. Good luck. Just ask him to do it somewhere else or when you're not in the room. Geez, it's not a big deal and it just sounds like you're using this as an excuse to try to get him kicked out. Ridiculous. And then calling everyone assholes for pointing out your BS. You have a lot of growing up to do. Everyone in the comments telling you to suck it up and you're gonna have to live with uncomfortable situations are weird ASF. Uncomfortable as in having to do presentations and sit next to the weird guy on the bus, not wake up to someone jerking off in the same room as you. That's not just uncomfortable, it's disturbing. You have every right to be weirded out. It's normal to masturbate, but not so publicly. I'm not sure if it'd be worse if it was someone you knew or someone you barely know tbh. Either way it's wrong. My roommate used to have sex with her boyfriend on the floor when he was visiting. Take it from me. You are going to want to just address this with a conversation early before you spend the whole year pretending to be asleep. Tell him to the shower quick march, and wash it down before you leave as you don't want to slip on it. All I'm going to say is, you really, really need to do everything you can think of to keep yourself out of jail. You would not do well in there at all. Join him. I'm going to take the apparently unpopular stance that you shouldn't have to be masturbated around if you don't want to. It's not incumbent upon you to have to work things out or talk to him if you don't want. Do what I do with my dog when he shits on the rug. Once he has finished rub his nose in it and tell him he's a bad boy. Tell him he needs your consent if he's doing a blatantly sexual act essentially beside you. 
I had this exact same issue happen to me except it was late at night when I was trying to fall asleep and he wasn't even under the sheets. Look him in the eye and tell him to not fucking do it and go tell your raw if you want to get a different roommate. I'm honestly scared that this is now the third time I've heard of people doing this. You've got to learn to confront issues, and an icky issue like this is high level but in doing so you will grow and become a better person. You don't know he was jacking it to you. Way more likely is that he was jacking it with his eyes closed and heard you wake up so he turned to look at you. Thinking it is you is just anxiety amping up the situation tbh. Confront non-confrontationally. Hey man, sorry to be awkward but I caught you jacking it the other day and I do not want to see that. I recommend you keep it in the shower. Wait for a response. And then just ask how other things are going like course or whatever. You don't even know the guy but you can and should be nice to people even if you don't like them, plus you do have to live with him. Hey, can you do that in the shower next time? See, I'd warn him that you're getting an air horn and from now on when you catch him doing the solo do in the room like that, you're totally going to blast the air horn. Eventually, people around you are going to get pissed off at him making you blow the horn because you wouldn't blow the damn horn if he would just go to the shower like a normal roommate. So either he has a really good memory imagination or he is jerking it to me. Imagine being this retarded. Imagine being so retarded that you insist someone needs porn to jerk off and that you must be the target of their fantasy otherwise. Hashtag Y-O-U-A-R-E-B-E-Y-O-N-D-D-E-L-U-S-I-O-N-A-L. And get the fuck over yourself. What a fucking joke. But he made eye contact with me and he didn't have his phone out. No. He didn't. I'd bet a quarter of a million dollars on it. You are a fucking whack job. There are some weirdos in the comments. So many terrible roommates. Guys, he's jerking it loudly while his roommate is still in the room. There's something clearly wrong with him.